I might have lied to you. I'm sorry, but since everybody else gets to lie to you for money and I lie to you out of the kindness of my heart, you'll forgive me for it. I'm still intoxicated, but you have to understand more stupid has hit the towers. Texas Dim Poll and ex Biden appointee arrested for allegedly posting fake racist social media comments about himself. An ex Biden White House appointee and current Democratic candidate for a county commissioner seat in Texas allegedly created a dummy social media account to post bogus racist comments about himself. Tyrell Patel. Very terrible name. 30, the challenger running for the county commissioner in Fort Bend County Precinct 3, just outside of Houston, was arrested for online impersonation last week after an investigation initiated by his opponent incumbent, Andy Myers. Another terrible name. You politicians always got some weird names. The Fort Bend District Attorney's Office started the probe in October, shortly after a lengthy Facebook post made in September in which he painted himself and his family as victims of a vicious race-based smear campaign perpetrated by his opponent's supporters. Included with the post was a collage of about a dozen racist messages he claimed he'd received over the course of his candidacy, calling him vile names such as monkey and subhuman and attacking his Hindu faith. Being called monkey and subhuman nowadays might break a couple people's hearts, but I promise you, you've never felt more pain than being a grown adult having to be called a bunch of slurs by a 12 year old and you can't even respond because you'll be dictated as a bully. Nor do you understand the development of being a 13 year old just trying to get it all nice and wet on Call of Duty and you schooling a bunch of 50 year olds and they're getting mad at you saying that I would be a nice house slave. The character development of me at such a time. No wonder people call me an edgelord. But that campaign website says he previously worked for the department of Justice's criminal division in the public integrity section and was appointed by President Biden to serve. I don't care about this. These hateful images, a small sample attached here, are from a place of deep and misguided fear, incited by people like the former President Donald Trump and today's extremist Republican Party fear that immigrants are taking their jobs and setting out to hurt our own communities. And I, just for the sake of a conversation want to read a couple of these because I could see a couple of them in this collage that was posted and I just want to read a couple commissioner Andy Myers is a red-blooded American Christian against crime and taxes foreigners like you are trying to take away my freedom and guns how do we let you King Kong KP not Middleton who loves criminals and sorrows Democrats take over Fort Ben you will not turn us into India and China. Remember the Alamo. For years, Indians have come to this country and have done their best to stay away from every other American. I'm sure you're a good person and I wish you all the luck. Sadly, I will never support an Indian or an <laughs> Ooh, trust me. Andy Myers is a true Christian. Our first commandment orders us to denounce all false gods like the monkey and elephant. We do not need more sand negroid something. <laughs> Man, this is some creative racism going on today. He's a dirty packy still. Oh, I'm moving on to the next day. Myers became suspicious when he recognized one of the names in the collage, Antonio Scallywag, as someone who had previously assailed him online. ABC 13 wrote prompting him to request an investigation into Patel's claims. Investigators subpoenaed Facebook and Google to obtain account information about the user profile, which led them right back to Patel, including his address, phone numbers, bank card number, and more. On Wednesday, Texas Rangers arrested Patel for online impersonation in the third degree, a felony, as well as a Class A misdemeanor charge for misrepresentation of identity he was briefly held in fort bend county jail before posting bond blah 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 why do you people feel the need to say things like this you can find real examples of people being hateful towards you online and if you want to post that and say this is what i have to deal with as a black man a black woman an indian man an indian woman a pakistan woman a palestine girl you are going to see it all you gotta do is just bother to go through the comments or type your name in 
hating and you'll see people hating on you. But my question is this. What is that going to do? Is it going to make people look at you and say, ah, I'm going to vote for you, not because of the policies that you want to bring forth for a better community of Houston, because that's what we really need. No, 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 no. I'm going to vote for you because uh, fucking scallywag posted that you were an all right Pakistani. No, that's dumb. That's stupid. That's not going to bring forth any change for a community or a county or a town. It's just going to make you look like a bitch in the eyes of a bunch of people who claim to always know how to stand by a bunch of words, but they cower like bitches when you say something about them. You get nowhere with these fake examples of trying to prove that there's hatefulness in the world. We know this already. We know there's hate in the world. What are we going to do about it. What are we going to do to solve it? What are we going to do to change it? What are we going to do to make people realize that even if you got a hateful heart, it changes nothing because you go home and live miserably while everyone else tries to have a smile put on their face. Misery breeds company. You might have been able to get away with this Tarel Papatel Patu if you lived in like the 1800s where things like this didn't really exist back then. Or if they did, it kind of looked like a dildo that you hugged to your ear. It is a little bit difficult to do these things now when you got everything under the sun able to track you and how you move and what time you took a shit. Stop doing these from the fake gay hate crimes to the fake crimes of getting jumped and set on fire by a bunch of people because you went to a protest or faking that a bunch of people named Scallywag are racist towards you. Stop it. You are not helping anybody because as much as you want to be about the change, there's probably somewhere out there that somebody's getting their ass handed to them and a bunch of racial slurs are being put at their feet, but no one's going to take them seriously because they're going to bring up how Terrell Papatel Taco Bell decided he wanted to fake being a victim of racism and all his poor family. Meanwhile, he's just sitting at the computer fiddling with the keyboard saying, I'm the victim of racism. You petulant bitches sicken me because because as much as you want to be about change, you're the fucking reason why people don't take change seriously. Because you are a pathetic piece of miserable shit that will always want to fake something, much like a woman faking her orgasm when she has coitus with you. Yes, she is dissatisfied with your daily bump and cry. But besides the point, <laughs> you gotta understand, doing shit like this never helps anybody. But congratulations though, I'm certain after a certain time period and the news starts to circulate and people see you and they see what you've done and they see what you were doing in your spare time and they'll think to themselves, I was gonna vote for this person. I was gonna have a full-blooded support for this individual and I need to go ask questions about this. People are gonna ask you why you were doing this, you're not gonna respond or you're gonna give a dumbass answer to try to excuse what you were doing. You're gonna talk about how the entire country hates Indian people and black people and they wanna see us all dead even though haven't really done a good job of that. Have you seen what's going on in Disney? And you are ultimately not going to get what you want, which is your position of power. And it'll be nobody else's fault. It won't be conservatives. It won't be the racists. It won't be the pot bellies. It won't be the Karens. It won't be the sugar mamas. It even won't be the sugar daddies. It'll be because of you and your inability to convince the people that you are a worthy candidate. And instead, you wanted fucking sympathy points because you might have thought people were stupid enough to believe you. But like like I said, these fucking things allow a lot of leeway for information to be brought forth to people and you're the dumb fuck who doesn't realize that. And to end the video, I will say it like I said in the last one, stop being stupid on social media because I will always be here to teach the young minds on how to not be stupid. No credentials needed because you know them all. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. It's the last one. You ain't getting no more unless you pay for it. Link in the description. Goodbye.